The right man gave you that name, but you are indeed the children of Israel who came here in slavery. That is your true nationality. But this world, this school system, these colleges are not designed to teach our people who they are. They're designed to keep you in the misery that this world has built for you here in America. Right. So this white man been lying to you from the beginning of the time. Right. He been lying to us since he unloaded us on them slave ships in Charleston, South Carolina. He been lying. He been lying way back then and he's lying right now to this day. Right. The earth is waking up and our people got to come out of the sleep that we've been walking in for 400 years. Right. You got to stop calling yourself black. Right. You got to stop filling out an application and putting African American right. on there. Right. You got to start putting fringes on your clothes right. because uh, this is a law that we broke that God gave us. Right. This is what we gotta do. Give me Romans chapter 13. Bring it up. We have been asleep for so long, the day to wake up is now. This truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men to stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's going to rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots. No excuse. Let's push this truth. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready. We coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Hey. Israel, united in Christ, is a non violent, Bible based movement. Are you IUIC. I'm gonna show you something. This is why. God bless This is why. We, since you gonna leave, you gonna follow. You you, you know why you gonna follow? You know why you gonna follow him? Because he prayed to you. That's why you gonna follow him because he prayed to you. This is this this type of man right here is the reason why our community is in the condition that it's in. If you don't want, I, I got Let me show you something. I got an aunt. I got an aunt. I got an aunt tattooed on my chest. You know what? Because I was ignorant. I was ignorant. But see, a brother like you, a brother like you, you don't want to hear this truth. So where is, where's the information? I'm gonna show y'all something. Where's the information? Where's your doctrine for that you use? No, go, go back that way. Don't come over here. Don't come over here. Where is your, where is the doctrine? My, my I, you know what? You got Jesus. sense. You know why? Because you being quiet. You being quiet. You trying to listen. This type of man right here. This type of man right here is the reason why our community is destroyed. This type of man right. This is not a man. This is a boy created here in America by the so-called white man. Because there is no way in earth that you can believe that you that that the woman is God. Everything in society that a woman uses was created by a man. Right. That stop like that. You stop it every day. Who made that? A man. Right. This earth that you stood, that you stand on today was created by who? A man. That's right. Everything that you have in society, your car, your house, every, your job, everything was created by the man. Right. Why is this so important? Because here in America, the black man has been beaten down to this example right here. He does not know how to be a man. He doesn't know his true history is in the Bible and that God is calling him to be a king on the earth. Right. He said, where did the seed come from? Let, let Go back, go to hold that. Let's go to Genesis real quick. Let's get the beginning of man on earth. Because the most high God is a man. It is not a woman. Give me Genesis. I want chapter, I want chapter 1 and verse 26. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 26. Bring it up. And God said, let us make man. Now notice here it said, God said, let us make man. So why does it say us? Was God by himself in the beginning? Who was with him? Moses? Nope. Think about before there is an earth, before there is a planet, before there is a universe, is God by himself? No. So who is with God in the heavens? The angels. The angels are with God. God said what? 
And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. So God said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness, come on. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, uh -huh. and over the fowl of the air, uh -huh. and over the cattle, and over all the earth. No, be, no, pray to the woman. Read, that, read all of that again. God said what? And God said, let us, let us make man in our image. So man was made, made in the image of God. You listening? Man is made in the image of God. Meaning, God, the hair that you got on your head, God has hair like that. Right. The hair that you got on your face, God has hair like that. Right. The color of that skin, brother, God's skin is that color. Right. Read. After our likeness, uh -huh. and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Now here, the man that God is making, he said, let that man have dominion, have rulership, have ownership, rule over what? And over the fowl of the air, uh -huh. and over the cattle. So he's over the cattle, he's over the, uh, the, the fowl of the air, the birds, come on. And over all the earth. He said this man is going to rule over all the earth. So why in the hell does this brother say he prayed to a woman? Right. The woman came from the man. Right. So why does the man now pray to the woman? Because I came out the womb. I'm going to show you something. Read on. And over all the earth Come on. and over every creeping thing uh -huh. that creepeth upon the earth. So God gave dominion to who? To man. Now give me uh, chapter 2, 7. Read. The book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So now he formed man from the dust of the ground. Meaning the most high God took the dust of the ground and he formed man. What color is the dust in that ground right there? What color is the dust of the ground? Kick it over. Let's look at it. Let's look at it together. What color is the dust of the ground? Bring it up. The dust of the ground is brown. Right. So the first man that God made, what color was he? Brown. He was brown. Come on. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground uh -huh. and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Now I want uh, chapter 3. Oh, we rule over woman. 3 and 16, read that. The book of Genesis, chapter 3 and verse 16. So now God formed, God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. He took the dust on the ground, he formed a what? A man. Now, read this. Unto the woman, he said. So where did the woman come from? Man. He came, she came from man's womb. Read up, let's read that. Uh, go to 2 and no, 22. Read that. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 22. Yeah. And the rib which the Lord God have taken from man. The way he took it what? The Lord God have taken from man. So after he formed man, he took a rib from man and did what? Made he a woman. He made him a woman. That's to be a help meet to the man. Right. The woman is a help meet to the man. Read. And brought her unto the man. So he then took the woman and he brought her to the man. Read. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bone. This woman that the Lord brought me, she's bone of my bone. Come on. And flesh of my flesh. Her flesh is made after your flesh. Come on. And she shall be called woman. And she gonna be called what? Woman. Now go back up to uh, three. Genesis chapter three and verse 16. Come on. Yeah. Unto the woman he said. Now to this woman, this is what the Lord is saying. What? I will greatly multiply thy sorrow. Why? Because they went into sin. Right. Remember, she, the, the, the world will have you think she went to an apple tree, bit an apple, and then she gave it to Adam. That, what, 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 is, what do you read apple tree in there? Bring it out. What do you read orange? It, said, it, it, it says fruit, but this is not talking about a tree. It's talking about doctrine, like uh, homosexuality, like uh, uh, same-sex marriage, feminism. Philosophy is what it's talking about. All right, it's not talking about they actually ate a fruit. Because if, uh, before I said that, if I'd have said, what fruit did Adam eat? Did Adam and Eve eat, what would you say? An yeah. apple? We never read that. Right. But right. this is what they taught us in this society. Just like they taught the black man to be like this brother right here. Right. Weak and docile. Right. God brought the man to the woman, and what he said? Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow. Multiplying those sorrows is going into you now having a ministry period, a ministry. Before this time, women did not have a ministry. No. Read. And thy conception 
in sorrow, thou shalt bring forth children. He said, in your conception, meaning now when you bring forth children, it's going to be hard. That's why when a woman lays down to have that baby, there's a lot of pain that was given to her by God because we broke the commandments. Right. Read on. And thy desire. And all of the woman's desire, everything that the woman desire, what? Shall be. It shall be to thy husband. It shall be to your husband. Meaning everything that you desire, everything that you want, you're supposed to go to that man for. Right. You're supposed to be the provider, right. the protector. You the all, you, you're her all in all solution for everything that she needs or desires. Right. But our society don't run like that. Our society now runs off of weak brothers like this. They sit up at the house all day. He probably 60 years old playing a video game while she at work. Bring it up. Right. While she out there getting all the money, bringing, paying all the bills, he at home sending prayers up to the womb. He praying to the to, to the coochie. He praying to the coochie. That's what they doing. Right. Yeah. He come home and cook us some little dilly burgers. He post up and he never leaves. Bring it out. You feel me? All his clothes is in her drawer. All everything, all the dresses, drawers that that, that that was bought, he got his clothes filled with them. But that is not who you're supposed to be, black man. That's not who you're supposed to be, black woman. The God calls you to be a royal priesthood. Give me that, uh, uh, Peter, three. The God, most High God calls you to be a royal priesthood. You're kings. You're princes on the earth. Right. But this society has told you that you are less than that. That you are black. No, my boots are black. Right. We can read now, Mr. White Man. You are not black. You are not African-American. Right. To say that you're African-American is to say that you come from two white men. Leo Scipio Africanus and Americo Vespucci. They were two white conquerors. Right. One conquered Hannibal during the Second Punic War, and he named the continent after himself, Africanus. Thus you have the name Africa today. America was discovered by Amerigo Vespucci, Wake him up. a so-called white man. We say so-called because if you look at them, they're not white. They are red, the blood shows through their skin. If you pop them on the back of the neck, it's gonna turn red. That's right. We call them in the South, what we call them? Red? Red necks. Red necks. Why we call them red necks? Because if they get mad enough, they look like a damn lobster. Right. Right. And hey, that's just the truth. Right. right. The, hey, the thing about the thing about this gospel, people don't like to hit a hard truth. We would rather live in our lives day to day in misery than to speak on the fact that your forefathers and mothers were slaves. Right. That you are children of the slave trade. Right. That you are not African American. The white man gave you that name, but you are indeed the children of Israel yeah. who came right. here in slavery. Right. That is your true nationality. But this world, this school system, these colleges are not designed to teach our people who they are. Right. They're designed to keep you in the misery that this world has built for you here in America. Right. We're here to tell you that day is over with. The day of us walking around ignorant and not standing up for who we are is done. Right. This is a new breed of black men on the earth. Right. And we're going to take the kingdom back just right. like God gave us. Right. Read what you got. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. Yeah. But ye are a chosen generation. God says you're a chosen generation. You're not average. You're not niggas, spicks and coon and porch monkeys. God says you are a chosen generation. Come on. A royal priesthood. You know what it means to be royal? Do you know what it means to be royal? These sisters over here, do you know? Hey, uh, 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 come here, uh, bro. I just, uh, what's your name? Yeah, 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 you, you know what I'm talking about. You done, you done beat my pants up all at the gym. Now you get to see a different, a, a different part. What's going on, bro? What does it mean to be royal? This is one of my former clients right there. What does it mean to be royal? I know your worth. What do you think it means to be royal? To be a royal priesthood. Read this again. But ye are a chosen generation. God says you're a chosen generation. Do you understand that we were once in rulership? Do you understand that we once ruled the earth? Right. So why are we at the bottom right now serving these people and, and, and coming to buy crap on Market Street? Wake them up. Because slavery has done a number on us. Right. They have completely changed our mind. I don't gotta put chains on your ankles and feet if I put chains on your brain. Right. If I can lock the, uh, a psychological chain on your mind, I don't need to put chains on your hands and feet. I ain't worried about you running nowhere. Carter G. Wilson said to the slave that's been made in America, if you tell him do not go out the front door, he will cut a hole in the wall and make a back door so that he can get out. Right. That means we have been psychologically duped. To be 
a royal priesthood mean God chose, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. God chose you to be above all nations. Right. People don't want to, our people don't want to hear that. They say, what do you mean above? No, we equal. Let's see what the Bible said. Because I guarantee you, your Sunday pastor that's taking your money every week, he ain't never read this. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people. Who is God talking to? The children of Israel. His chosen people. The same people that he did this to. Come on, come on to the side. The same people that he did this to. The same people that God did this to. You think this could happen without a God? You think this could happen on the earth without a God? God did this. They didn't think it was themselves. God allowed them to do it. And your pastor has never read this to you. But watch this. Read for thou are in holy people. That's that royal priesthood that we were just talking about. You are a holy people. Come on. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto God himself. So you got who got kids? Raise your hand. You got kids, right? Got three sons. You got three sons. When them, how, old are, how old are they? 10, 12, and 7. Ooh, I want y'all to listen to this. 10, 12, and 7. They bad? Tell the truth. Um, my younger one, he, he the best one. He the best one. The, other, the, the older they get, what? The worst they get. Now, when your kids disobey you, what do you do? Um, it depends on what they've been up here. Okay, it depends on what they what if they what if they turn their back on you? Um, I ain't never experienced it because I stay on I did. My kids turn their back on me because of the Bible. Guess what we did to our God? Remember, read this again. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. Out of all 18 nations on the earth, there's only 18 nations on the earth. All this uh, black, Hispanic, Native American, that is not nationality. Right. God created all the nationalities that are listed in the Bible. There's only 18. Out of the 18 nations on the earth, he chose one nation to be a special people. That's Guess right. who it is? It's you. It's us. He said what? Read that again. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people on. unto himself. God chose you to be a special people unto himself. Come on. Above. No, equal to. Above. No, uh, on the bottom of. Above. God said I chose this one particular people to be above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So what happened? If God chose us to be above all people on the face of the earth, how we get to the bottom? How do we get on the bottom of all people? Because are we on? The, are we above all people today? Look at our condition. Right. When you go back to your neighborhood, does it look like the suburbs and the and, and the high rises like the, like the, like they live in? So why are we on the bottom? If God said you're above all people, why do we have to work jobs? Because above all people means that you have rulership, mm -hmm. you have status, right. you own the earth. He said, I chose you to be above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Come on. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number. So that means there were more of the other people than it was of us. We were the fewest. Come on. Than any people. Come on. For ye were the fewest of all people. Come on. But because the Lord loved you. God loved us. You know why? He looked like us. Bring it up. He made us in his image and after his likeness. That's right. He didn't make us like them. The only way, the only reason we so give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. How Bring you doing, up. brother? Stay here and listen. The only reason, Jermaine, you listening? The only reason we are in this condition is because of this. Because we have been the children of the slave trade. Now I'm gonna show you this. Because your pastors never read this to you. Your parents have never read this to you, and they damn sure don't teach this in school. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. So now God chose us, right? Now he's telling us what? what if, no, read it again. But if, but it shall come to pass. Because I chose you, because you're my children, it shall come to pass. Come on. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we don't listen to our God, meaning don't break the Sabbath day, which we still doing today, look. 
We're still breaking the Sabbath day. We're following after the nations that put us in slavery still today. God said what? If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments. So our father told us that we had to do all his commandments. And guess what? They good commandments. Because what is wrong with thou shalt not kill? What is wrong with it? Is something wrong with thou shalt not kill? No, there's nothing wrong with it. What is wrong with thou shalt not steal? Nothing is wrong with it, right? He gave us more high holy days to celebrate than this country could ever think of. That's but right. this country gave us the 4th of July. Well, let's analyze that, which is coming up. In what, 1776? Where were you in 1776? It wasn't even. Huh? We was, no, but where were our people? In slavery. So how you celebrate Independence Day on the 4th of July when your people were still slaves on the 4th of July, 1776? That don't make no sense. Yet and still, we don't know that today is the Sabbath day of the Lord. God said, I chose you to be above all people, but if you break my commandments, this is what's gonna happen to you. Go to verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. He said, your sons and daughters are going to be given to another people. What's that called? Your sons and daughters being given to another people. What is that called? Now, you wanted me to watch Black Lightning, but I want you to listen to the Bible. I ain't watched that first episode yet either, but just, just hang tight with me. <laughs> hang tight with me. I want you to listen. What is this called? Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Your sons and daughters being given to another people in ancient times was called what? What was it called? Slavery. slavery. Right. God says, if God don't listen to me, I'm sending your sons and daughters into slavery. Right. Name another people that this happened to. Don't worry, I'll wait. Name one other nation of people that this happened to. Name one. See how hard you gotta think? Because it didn't happen to nobody else. Yes. This is how we know we are the children of Israel. Right. This right. is just one sign that the Bible is telling us that we are the children of Israel. Right. That right. the people that are in Israel today, faking like they us, they phony. Right. They are not the real Jews. Yes. They don't even say that they're the Jews. They say, no, I'm Jew. Ish. Up, Meaning Jermaine. If I said I'm coming to your house, come to the gym around five-ish. What am I telling you to do? To be there at five? If I say I, if I say meet me at the gym five-ish, am I saying meet me at five o'clock? What am I saying? Something around five? Mm -hmm. So something like five? So if I say I'm Jewish, what am I saying? Like I'm something like a Jew, yeah. but I'm not a real right. Jew. You know why they can't say they're the real Jews? Jeremiah 14. Do you know why they can't say they're the real Jews? Because if they say that I am a Jew, then they have to admit that the Jews are black. You don't believe me? Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Bring it up. Judah morning. It says Judah is in mourning because this happened to Judah. Step to the side. Judah is the American blacks. It says Judah is in mourning. Meaning he's sorrowful. He's going through pain, suffer, and struggle right here in America. That's Judah. Judah mourned. And the gates are our language. And the gates meaning the leadership. Gates meaning leadership is what? They are black. Hold on, wait a minute. What color is Judah? They are black. What? Unto the ground. Now we just observed the ground, right? Yes, it says yeah. that Judah is black unto the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? Bring wow. it up. So the deeper you dig in the dirt, what? the darker it gets. Exactly. Meaning that Judah is many different shades of brown. Right. Like I'm a shade of brown, you a shade of brown. We all different shades of brown. This proves that we are the children of Israel. Right. Go back to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 28, here's another curse. Verse 40, verse 45. Yes, sir. Verse 45, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee. All these curses shall come upon the children of Israel and pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. This means that no matter wherever you go, these curses are gonna follow you. If you run from here to America, when you, I mean from here to China, when you get to China, you're still a nigga. If you run from China to Australia, when you get to Australia, in whatever language they speak, guess what you is? You still a nigga, like Jay-Z say, you still a nigga. No matter where you go on this earth, you are a proverb and a byword. Right. That's why no matter what you experience in life, every time you are around them, you feel inferior. 
You don't never feel superior. When they walk on the sidewalk, you, there's something in you that makes you move over. You don't know what that is. That's that spirit that they have beat down for over 400 years in this country. It is so much psychological damage done to our people, we don't want to accept it and we don't realize it. So, instead, we just ignore it. We don't want to stand before the Bible and really hear the truth of what's coming out of the Bible. Because this Bible is going to tell you who you are right. and what you must be doing in these last days. Right. If you want salvation, when Christ comes, you're going to have, you're going to, you're going to, have to be found keeping the commandments. Right. Because if you're found breaking the commandments, you're going to be put to death. Right along with your oppressor who's done all of this evil to you. Read on. Till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So these things because we happen to us because we didn't listen to God. Read. To keep his commandments Read. and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So now God is telling the children of Israel, these curses, they're going to be upon you for a sign. Meaning, you can look into society, you can look into the world, and you can look in the Bible and say, who matched these curses in the Bible? You're only going to find one people that matches the curses. Right. And that's your people. Right. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. We are the same people. We come from the same forefather. We got the same exact blood right. running in our veins. Don't let them fool you with that DNA test. Talking about uh, what's it called? Ancestry.com Ancestry is a is a is a toilet full of crap. You know why? Cause they're gonna say, no, you got some Australian in you, some China in you, some American in you. You all nations. You six percent this, you twenty percent that, that ain't possible. God, God don't roll like that. God says you are what your father is. Right. If your father is an African, is a so-called African American who is an Israelite of the tribe of Judah, guess what you are? An Israelite from the tribe of Judah. How, right. how do we know that? We refer back to the Bible. Give me that in numbers real quick. Read. Numbers chapter 1 verse 18. Yeah. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Uh -huh. And they declared their pedigrees. What's a pedigree? Who breed dogs? Anybody bred a dog before? What's a pedigree? Meaning, if I take this, uh, if I take this, uh, this pit bull, this red-nosed pit bull, and I breed it with another, it's a male. If I breed it with another pit bull, what is it going to be? It's going to be a red-nosed pit bull because its father is a red-nosed pit bull. It's a pedigree. God says we are to assemble our pedigree what? After their families. That pedigrees of your family is determined by what? By the house. Of their father! It's determined by the house of right. your father. Right. So this white man been lying to you from the beginning of the time. Right. He been lying to us since he unloaded us on them slave ships in Charleston, South Carolina. He been lying. Right. He been lying way back then, and he's lying right now to this day. Right. Now, is this a racist campaign? No, this ain't about race. This is about truth. Right. Because the truth is that we have lost our nationality. Right. right. And that the kingdom of heaven belongs to us. Right. right. Rulership on earth belongs to us. That's right. But they have used every device and every way of trickery to make us forget about it and to take it away from us. Now they rule everything. And we're on the bottom. Right. Well, the day of the Geechee is over. Right. The black man is now standing up. You see these men in purple? This ain't just happening in Colombia. Right. This happening all over the earth. That's right. We just hit six islands in a week. Bahamas, St. Thomas, Antigua, Dominica, St. Lucia, Martinique. This is not a game. The earth is waking up and our people gotta come out of the sleep that we've been walking in for 400 years. Right. You gotta stop calling yourself black. Right. You gotta stop filling out an application and putting African American right. on there. Right. You gotta start putting fringes on your clothes right. because this is a law that we broke that God gave us. Right. This is what we gotta do. Give me Romans chapter 13. Bring it up. We have been asleep for so long, the day to wake up is now. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support, 